Welcome back to Cigar Smoking Vets right here on the YTPC YouTube Pipe Community here on YouTube. I am some guy named Matt and the Duchess felt that for this VR that she'd rather not participate. And that's fine, I understand. I never push her. But we're gonna do this one right here and say, Hi Duchess. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Had to do it. <laughs> so she is here. Um it's just one of those where she was a little uncomfortable, so that's fine. A little housekeeping out of the way. CAO Anaconda from the Amazon series. Miller High Life. So this is a VR to John Laughlin. He asked for your favorite opening day. Of course, I am my defending World Series champion, Boston Red Sox shirt. Your favorite uh, uh, opening day memory with your father or words of wisdom from your father. Well, I grew up without my father. Long story, uh, I believe it was covered in my original Cigar Smoking Vets channel. But I asked him, could I use a, a, a a different memory in regards to my father as it relates to my daughter and he said go for it so here we go sit back kiddos let's enjoy the ride so the year was 2012 my daughter had just turned one year old throughout well in February she had turned one and throughout the year she starts speaking and anytime uh, like her you know she would watch the educational shows and she'd oh no Super Y is over at the end right and uh, it was so cute you know uh, coming from a, a 42 year old man it's just like what the fuck is wrong with you how much have you had to drink today, right? Um, but coming from an 18-month-old, that's cute. Well, October the 29th was the day before my... I want to say it was 39th birthday. And, no? How old was I? See, 76, 86, 96, 06. So it's the day before my 33rd birthday, so excuse me. The day before my 33rd birthday. Uh, Dad had passed away. And my daughter had spoken to him, with him, on Skype. So she knew what Dad looked like, you know, and she, she knew who he was. He was Grampy. Now, my dad had five grandchildren, two by me, and three by another one of his children, but he never got to meet any of his grandchildren before his passing, um, but at least he got the Skype time, and I remember we were right towards the end of the 2012 uh, election cycle. So, and Hurricane Sandy was going on. We were one of, if not the first flight, into LaGuardia after Sandy had hit. When, when I say we, it was actually, it was just me. Um, going back up to Maine for, for Dad's funeral. 
and I came back, I had a portion of his ashes, along with this CD. On the CD was a news story that he had done, because he was the good humor ice cream man in the Bangor area, in Maine. I clarify that because when I was looking for a different reason years ago, I found out there was a Bangor, I believe Wisconsin or Mich Michigan, so Bangor, Maine. Anyway, long story short, I know it's kind of late for that, uh, got back home and I put the DVD in. And I watched it. And at the end of that news story, my daughter, who was approaching her second birthday, was watching with me. And at the end of it, she goes, Oh no, Grampy's over. Just like one of her TV shows that she was, you know, would be used to watching Super Y and stuff like that. Uh, Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. And it had made me emotional because Dad had passed. And she was able to recognize Grampy. But when she said, Grampy's over, it had hit me. And I started tearing up. And she got up from her, the little area on the rug where she was sitting for all of her TV. And she climbs up on my lap because she saw me pretty much basically crying and said, don't cry, Daddy. I still love you. And I wouldn't have been able to have that beautiful memory with my daughter had it not been for my dad. The fact that she was able to recognize him. No, that's not the doorbell, that's the Duchess's phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I know it's not the more happy memories, John, that you were looking for, but that is the, the biggest memory that will always stick with me from, from my dad. So, to all you that are able to still be with your dad, Enjoy. You never know when it's going to end. For those whose dads have already passed on, just know this is something that I was raised with. The more you miss them, the closer to their, sh the closer to your shoulder they're sitting. John, thanks for uh, giving me this time and allowing me to share. Happy smoking.